We all know that all too often, movie sequels don't live up to the original, but that's all about to change. The Niagara Integrated Film Festival is back for its second summer and it's shaping up to be bigger and better than last year. It's going to happen over the Father's Day weekend, June 18th to the 21st. Basically 70 plus film screenings, including international and Canadian premieres that will be shown through about 15 to 20 venues across the Niagara regions. Uh, wineries will be part of that part of that experience. Of course, the, the movie experience at Cineplexes as well, we'll see that, people will see that as well. And can you just tell me a little bit about how it's going to be bigger and better than last year? Well, we're certainly always trying to make it bigger and better, but we also recognize we have to have a plan in place. So we're going to crawl, then we're going to walk, and then we're going to run. So this year we are going to be expanding some of the programming, going out into a few more wineries as part of that process. And we'll be making those kind of announcements over the coming weeks and months as we get closer to June. I didn't want people to think I was a one-trick pony, so I said, what else could I do? So I looked at all the places in North America, and I said, the Niagara District is a natural. It's got great locations, it's got fabulous wines, it's got great culinary stuff, and it looks terrific. Add some movies to that, and you've got a winner. So we found that one. And what are you most looking forward to this summer? Well, the plan is to, in that four intensive days from June 18 to 21, bring the best summer release movies in the world and show them to what we think is a very movie savvy audience down here. And what can audiences expect attending the Niagara Integrated Film Festival? Well, if you go to TIFF in the fall, you're going to see the films that win the Oscars. If you come to NIF in June, you'll see the best net independent films in the world, and particularly the ones from the American indie distributors, because they all know that June is a great time, and this is the best place to showcase the films. I think that what our goal is, that there will be an extraordinary film festival that will happen every summer, that will entertain people who live in the region, but then will also be good enough that it will attract people from outside, um, from anywhere, from internationally, North America, wherever. And that means that we have to have great content. But also what will draw people is this incredibly unique experience that they're going to get because we're putting films in the vineyards. So, you know, when I talk to people and I tell them, they say, well, what's it about? And I go, well, there's this, this program we've got called Filmalicious. And it's move, dinner and a movie in a vineyard and their eyes just light up and they just go, wow, this is going to be so much fun. So it's that kind of thing that I think um, will make us different, will set us apart, will attract people to come, both locals and, and non-locals. Program and venue details will be released in the coming months, but film lovers, mark your calendars. The festival will run from June 18th to 21st. Reporting in St. David's, I'm Holly Moore.